I have my problems with this movie, even though I do really enjoy it. First one, the big one, Drax. They make him a joke. Because that's just MCU's formula. They make the majority of their characters, you know, a joke. Or they're not exactly a joke. They make a bunch of jokes. And they're more of comedic relief, even though they have plenty of those. That's what they do. For Drax, they made him comedic relief. He now takes everything literally. And he's just kind of goofy. Star-Lord wasn't the biggest fan of him, only because I think Chris Pratt's overrated. Controversy aside, he's just not a very good actor. He plays the same roles over and over again and changes them up a little bit. Gamora, aka Zoe, I think it's Zoe. I'm thinking of Catwoman, aren't I? No, they have the same name, Zoe Zaladun. However you say it. Zoe did an amazing job as Gamora. Bradley Cooper was really good as Rocket. Vin Diesel. Don't really like the dude. Mm -hmm. So, not really going to talk about him. Because his character is just saying I am Groot. Until like his death scene. Where he says we are Groot. So, no, obviously not going to talk about him. I just, you know. He's... A bit overrated, and there's that one interview mm -hmm. from not too long ago where this woman was clearly uncomfortable, and he just kept messing with her and flirting with her constantly, and I'm pretty sure he was married at the time. Anyways, let's talk about the actual movie now. We get Ronan, who's trying to mm -hmm. kill people because he doesn't like their race or whatever. Like, he really, literally wants to wipe their whole planet out because of a peace treaty, and he already doesn't like them. Calls them filth, so <laughs> definitely feels a little bit racist. He has Nebula and Gamora helping him. Gamora betrays him almost immediately. Nebula still helps him. Um, Got Korath. He doesn't do much. He gets seemingly killed by Drax. But we know that's not true since he returned in Captain Marvel. Or since the movie's in the past, he probably did die, unfortunately. <laughs> Damn. I didn't even think about that until just now. Rip Korath. I honestly only remembered him being in two or three scenes, but he was in a lot of scenes in this movie. He still didn't have the biggest amount of screen time, though. But yeah, Star-Lord comes off as cringy during a lot of scenes. Like the scene where he tries to calm down Drax and tries to get him to stop him from killing Gamora. And he starts talking about all the women he's slept with and how they've tried to kill him. And then the scene that was like so forced where Ronan is like, These guys are your guardians of the galaxy. Oh cool, you name dropped the movie that I'm watching. And then later when star is about to defeat him, he said, You said yourself. Bitch, we're the guards of the galaxy. Uh, not not very good in my opinion. I did not like that at all. Um, I really wish it would have kept Drax's old design. Besides the whole him being you know too goofy and nothing like Drax. It's nothing against the actual actor that plays him, just how the MCU portrayed him. Because I think. Batista could have did an amazing job, even though I'm not a fan of him as a wrestler. Like, I've never liked Batista. He was kind of boring. But I think Batista is a pretty good actor compared to a lot more famous actors like Vin Diesel and Dwayne The Rock Johnson and other people like that. Chris Pratt. I think he does pretty good when he's in movies. So I, I really think he could have been a really good intimidating Drax. But they went for the goofy thing. And he said himself he's not going to return after the Guardians of Galaxy 3. So, I don't blame him. Um, the most goofy part of the movie was definitely when um, 
They're all talking about how they're friends, and then Drax calls Gamora a whore. And then somebody comes out of nowhere, oh, it was Nebula, and insults her. So he shoots her with a bazooka that he gets out of nowhere. And he's like, nobody calls my friends names, or something like that. And then we never see the bazooka again. It was literally just used for that gag. But, yeah, that's about it.